Welcome to This Week in Our Collective Heads. This is our Christmas series where we talk about the best of the Christmas movies. And we're going to talk about one of the classics, the best version. Yes. Today we're talking about The Muppet Christmas Carol, the best Christmas carol. It's the best version of the Dickens Christmas Carol ever. Uh, and I think the reason behind it is not only the, the amazing puppetry and the amazing art and the amazing world that they've built uh, and the sets, but Michael Caine's performance, yeah. continuing to give it his all and not phoning this in at all, is amazing. And his breakdown at the, at the Ghost of, uh, of Christmas Future. Yeah. Oh, man. It is, it is, it is really fantastic. There, there's an old like black and white version mm -hmm. of The Christmas Carol that I watched one time. And that guy has the Spider-Man problem with Scrooge. He's a great before Scrooge. Yeah. He's a really lousy after. Yes. And Michael Caine is scary as as like Ebenezer he Scrooge. He is intimidating. Mm -hmm. He is frightening. I can see how working for him would be a nightmare. Oh, of course, yeah. And then at the at the end, after his transformation, he is just I would want him at my table every yes. time. Yes. And uh he's he's talked about how this was the first movie that he had made that his grandkid could see. Yeah. And so he he sits and watches it with her. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful story, and uh, like I said, the, the Michael Caine not phoning it in, uh, as well as them not dumbing down the story for kids. No, there's even a part in, a part in there where you know, they say that's isn't that rather dark. Isn't this kind no, of scary for no, kids? No, it's culture. <laughs> Yeah. Like they specifically say that because it is. It's so, it's a, a great story. They're not dumbing it dying down the language or, or mm -hmm. the tone. And using at all. using way more of the actual original written dialogue than I really knew before I went into went into it on my own. Yeah. But yeah, be, they they bring so much of it in and then the Muppet infusion. Yeah. Like like <laughs> Jacob and Marley as as the Waldorf. <laughs> is the best casting of that entire thing. But yeah, like all of all of the Muppets aren't like shoehorned in. All of them fit where they're put because yeah. the Muppets have such a vast array of characters mm -hmm. that fit really well into this universe. So um, this is actually the one that, that I watch every year on Christmas Eve. Yeah. And I highly recommend that you do that too. We. We do. We recommend. We do. See you later.